You know, this year, we saw a couple of SpaceX explosions, right? There was one in April, and then this one <coughs> in November. Y'all remember this? Explosions or collisions. Listen, we live in a firmament, not on a ball spinning a thousand miles an hour, hurtling through endless space, orbiting a large star of hot gas, which is then moving at 400,000 miles an hour. No, a firmament, a stable and stationary firmament built on solid foundations and it's unbreakable. You know, they love to tell us the truth to our faces in subtle ways. We are all standing under a glass ceiling right now. Although we weren't able to shatter that highest, hardest glass ceiling. We have still not shattered that highest and hardest glass ceiling, but someday someone will. And No, you won't. You won't ever break through. Listen, when we talk of a firmament, too many people think we mean this. No, this is not what we're talking about. This is a firm created by an intelligent designer, our creator, God in heaven, Yahweh. But why would they lie about all this? Uh, why, the, why the theatrics? Why the deception? Well, in large part, a firmament points to the existence of God. Yeah, and they don't like that. But also, if you think about it, if they can get you to deny your own basic fundamental senses, deny what you observe in your physical reality day to day, they can get you to believe just about anything. The only proof that you have of around Earth are those that are created images by computer or taken by a fisheye lens. It takes far more faith to believe in the theory of the Big Bang than the creation of the world as described in Genesis in which God created the heavens and the earth. Not in the, in the vast emptiness of space, but from the waters of the deep. God created a vault, the firmament, between the waters to separate the waters from the waters. Right, The waters above and the waters below. He set the foundations of the earth and said that they cannot be moved. Waters above. Have you ever seen stars close up? This is what they look like. They all look like this. It's weird, right? Kind of looks like water to me. There is no leaving this place. If you believe that the world and the so-called universe around us was created from some singular event and formed over billions and billions of years, that's why they do that, by the way. Because then you don't have to worry about proving anything. It can all be theoretical when you're talking about that kind of time scale. Take a look at the world around you. Take a look at the complexities of the human body alone and tell me that they just form by chance. Or that this is actual sound thinking? Oh, come on. No one still believes this, right? This quote-unquote theory? If this were true, then where are these groups of primates? Or humans? Or humimates? Oh, well, they would tell you that we've diverged over millions and millions of years. This is one giant load of crap. God created the heavens and the earth and everything that you see around you. They do not want you to know this. Another reason they'd lie to you? You would be much harder to control and manipulate if you knew that there was a God that loved you, that valued you, and that created you for a purpose. Yep.